Moderna is applying for full approval of its coronavirus vaccine. The drug maker will now send trial data to the FDA over the coming weeks. U.S. health officials first approved Moderna's vaccine for emergency use in December for people 18 and up. To apply for full approval, the company needs to do a six-month follow-up. Moderna says their vaccine has a 90% efficacy rate after six months. Very high. More than 50% of Americans have gotten at least one dose of a coronavirus vaccine. The numbers, though, are lower in Kansas and Missouri, both states around 42%. And here's a look at the rates in the KC Metro. Now, this is for completed vaccinations. Johnson County, Kansas on the left there has the highest rate at nearly 44%. Clay County, Kansas City, Missouri, Platte County have rates in the 30s. And then Cass and Wyandotte County are at the end of the pack here, still in the high 20s. Despite the low numbers, Wyandotte County will hit an important milestone today. Healthcare workers will give out the 100,000th dose of a coronavirus vaccine. KNBC 9's Martin Augustine has a closer look at the county's progress. It is most certainly a big round number for Wyandotte County, having now put its 100,000th COVID-19 shot into an arm during a vaccine clinic here that the county runs at this old Kmart and has for several months now. But what does this mean from a big picture point of view for Wyandotte County? Well, information current as of a few days ago says almost a third of people living in Wyandotte County have received at least one dose of the vaccine, with 27% having now completed their vaccination program. For a comparison statewide, 42% of Kansans have received at least one dose. The Unified Government's Public Health Department calls what happened today a major milestone, and in many ways it is. From the time early on when the vaccine was being rolled out and supplies were tight, it was hard to imagine getting that many shots into arms. Then, as of just a few weeks ago, Wyandotte County was opening up vaccinations for anybody. They didn't have to live in Wyandotte County. Still, if you look at the vaccination rate in Wyandotte County, it lags behind just a little bit compared to some other counties in the metro. Reporting from KCK Martin Augustine, KBC News. Yeah, again, around 27%. And while leaders are excited about the milestone, why not unify government's mayor and CEO David Alvey told doctors at the University of Kansas Health System this morning, the vaccination rate in Wyandotte County, in his words, is problematic. It's been very hard to make some progress, um, you know, from some folks who still don't, again, think that this is serious, that uh, they don't know what's in the vaccine. And I will say to them, did you know what was in the polio vaccine? Did you know what was in the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine? And of course, they have no answer for that. Mayor Alvey says that the government continues to work on ways to educate the community and make sure vaccines are available where people are, making it more convenient for them to get their shots. Of course, incentives don't hurt either. And a vaccination event this weekend at Kansas Speedway comes with prizes. So get this, anyone who gets a coronavirus saliva test or vaccine will be entered into a raffle. Prizes include permission to drive your own car two laps around the track at highway speed. Don't go try to bury the needle there. You could also win tickets to the NASCAR Cup Series race in October and a gift card to drive a real NASCAR race car. The race to end COVID-19, as it's called, takes place Friday night from 5 to 8 and Saturday from 11 to 4. If you are still working to get a vaccine, you're, you're having trouble and you need help, turn to us. Go to KNBC.com, click how to get a vaccine to find a clinic near you.